social media has become one of the biggest and most all-encompassing industries in the world. It has the power to create social change, inspire change in perspective, and connect people from across the globe. The fact that one person can have more influence and reach a higher audience than some of the oldest and most iconic publications on earth is such an interesting concept, so I decided I needed to meet the influencers behind these accounts. This is Influenced. Today we're going to be hanging out at Duchess Vintage and chatting with the super babe Phoenix Loren all about her social media success. She's got close to 20,000 followers on Instagram alone, with many of her photos reaching near 2,000 likes per post. So I've been to your page before I talked to you, before I knew you, whatever, to get outfit inspiration. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that, I mean, does that ever weird you out? Where you're like, okay, I have close to 20,000 followers, most of which I'm assuming you don't know, because right. who has 20,000 friends? I definitely don't. <laughs> I mean, either. Yeah. I know like two my people. Dog, yeah. My boyfriend. Yeah. Is that ever interesting? Like, if you're in a relationship, do people slide into the DM a lot? Does your boyfriend ever get weird about it? Um, he never asks. It's kind of never ask, don't tell. <laughs> yeah. um, oddly enough, he has more followers than me, so. Really? That keeps me humble. <laughs> so, have you ever been uh, approached by companies to promote products for them? Do people ever contact you about that? Yes, definitely. It's definitely happened more of the last year or two, um, the more followers I have, which then in turn helps gain more followers. Mm -hmm. um, I've definitely made it my standpoint to not promote things that I don't like yeah. or that I don't believe in. That's important. So when you're going to, you know, get a photo to post, what do you think about? Like, is there a color scheme that you think of or is there like a location? I think it's been a, a journey over yeah. the last while of finding my aesthetics. I really used to not think about it at all. It would just kind of be like more random or I'd have family stuff on there, which I still do from time to time. It's a balance of wanting to show people other aspects of my life, but also keep it consistent. Mm -hmm. um, and I find that more consistency with an aesthetic is beneficial. Have you ever been offered money to post on Instagram? Yes, definitely. Basically, if a company with a million followers chooses to work with me, you know, that's that's more beneficial to me, I think, than, oh, than them. So I don't seek after the money aspect at this point. Um, it has happened. I'm not all about false advertising. Mm -hmm. I will promote something that I believe in, something that I like. So do you see yourself as an influencer? Like, what does the word influencer mean to you? <laughs> That's a kind of a funny thing, I guess, but... I mean, I, I feel like people glean from those who are comfortable with themselves, mm -hmm. which I still feel like I'm on a journey that way, but I've always been comfortable with my own skin. People that I follow, that I take inspiration from, or feel that they're an influencer, you know, I feel like are on a greater level than I am. So all those things, um, keep my head on straight yeah. but understanding that you do influence people isn't being cocky you know so no. I have to try and roll with that as well have you ever been uh, recognized out or did anyone like say like hey I follow you on Instagram <laughs> or like ever mentioned it actually oddly enough uh, last night someone Stop. wrote me and was like I saw you on the corner of Main Street <laughs> Be like, so, cool. yeah but you know I was that's really flattering. And, it is. And even that she would take the time to say, and you know, I, I definitely, I'm not always good at commenting back, but messaging. Um, if someone takes the time to. Yeah, you know, I was like, hey, like next time say hello. Like I'm not. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes if I'm looking for, you know, fashion inspiration, I will not go get a Vogue or go get, you know, whatever magazine I used to. I will go on Instagram. Do you go to other people's pages to inspire yourself? Oh. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, I used to, even a few years ago, go buy a stack of magazines and I can't remember the last time I did that. Do you have kind of a goal or a space that you want to, you know, remain in with regard to social media? So I definitely thought about opening up my own kind of online shop, but would be like shop my closet kind of thing. Like cool. more curated vintage or, you know, gently owned recycled pieces of mine or things that I find that maybe don't work for me or my body. 
I do music as well, so, you know, it's how do I fit all these things together? And I do find that's a challenge, that I have more than one interest. Mm -hmm. So how do I fit all these things that make me me together to build a cohesive brand?